Before his arrival at Winter Park, Mike Zimmer was a lifelong football man. He took over the Vikings, but he inherited a mess of a franchise. But the brash, no BS coach took the reins and posted the best record by a first year Vikings coach since Dennis Green. And then he kept the Vikings moving in the right direction, winning the NFC North in his second season and would have advanced in the playoffs. McDermott is the snapper. If Blair Walsh didn't shank one into the seats. Wow. Go figure. The next year, Zimmer nearly lost an eye while coaching the team when a placard flew into his eye at Soldier Field, detaching his retina. But Zimmer remained determined, wanting to bring this franchise their first Super Bowl. You know, the Viking fans have suffered long enough. Um, you know, I don't know if we'll ever get it done, but. Um, you know, we're trying like crazy every single day when we go in there. That's, that's what we're, you know, trying to do. If we ever do it, we're going to have a heck of a party in Minneapolis. <laughs> the whole Twin Cities, they're going to go crazy. And he nearly did just that in 2017 when he engineered a trip to the NFC Championship game with a little help from one of the greatest plays in franchise history. But the miracle turned into a mirage as the Vikings were annihilated by the Eagles. Then came the move that may have affected today's move, the signing of Kurt Cousins. And at that time, Zimmer foreshadowed the future. You know, it's important for myself and Rick and the organization, we picked the, the right guy that has helped us to continue to move forward. If we don't do that, then I'll probably get fired. The Cousins era has been a rocky one, with the Vikings missing the playoffs three of the past four years. Still, Zimmer leaves with the third most victories in franchise history, walking off the field yesterday at U.S. Bank Stadium, knowing that the organization is better off than when he arrived.